Hey, what's going on guys? Morby here and today I'm going to show you how to get the Master Tracker achievement in Cars 2. If you're looking to get the other achievements in this game, check out my previous video as I go through all 49 and I show you the easiest way to get them. Okay, so first off, this achievement shouldn't take you very long to get. It should take 20 to 25 minutes for you to obtain this. I would really suggest having the second controller as it makes getting on some of the maps a lot easier. You will need to get through a lot of the campaign to get this achievement. You will need to get up to the 6 Chrome missions. Although you don't need to complete the game, you will need to get through a lot of it to obtain this achievement. This is because some of the maps you need to get on are not unlocked until later on in the game. But aside from that, we're all set to go get the achievement, so let's do it. Right, the first map we're going to go to is Pipeline Sprint. You're going to want to get round about halfway through the track. Uh, I'll just speed it up for you real quickly here. When you get to this part of the map, you want to keep an eye out for the ramp on the left. Uh, make sure you've got at least one boost for this because you're going to need it to get on top of the freight. When you're coming up to the ramp, uh, quickly hit boost and as you're on the ramp, press jump. When you land onto the freight, you're going to want to uh, make sure to be ready to jump again as the points are just on the other end of the freight. Okay, the next map we're going to do is Oil Rig Run. You're going to want to start the race and drop down this little platform here you'll see the raised ledge on the right. Jump up to that and drive down it. You should see it ahead of you, uh, and all you need to do is do a little jump and you have it. Next up is the Jinza Sprint. For this one, it is uh, halfway through the track. Now what you wanna do is once you get around the track and you see this car park, you wanna start to slow down. You'll see the barrier at the end of this road here. What you wanna do is smash through it and be prepared to jump three times. Make sure you've got at least one boost as you're going to want to boost on the last jump and it should be just about here. Uh, in this uh, clip I don't have the actual footage as I got it before I was recording but it's just in the air on the third jump. Okay next up is Vista Run. You want to get around halfway through the map and when you get to this point uh, make sure you keep an eye out for these two paths. Take the left one and jump through this advertisement here. The point should be directly in the center of the jump, so it shouldn't be too hard to get. The Imperial Tour is a little bit more different than the other one so far. What you want to do is start the race, and right at the start you should see a road appearing on your right. What you want to do is get onto this road and begin reversing. After a short time, you should see a blue and white ledge on the left hand side. What you want to do is jump up there and collect the boosts as you're going to need them to collect the points. Once you have two to three bars of boost, you're going to want to aim to the bridge on your right. Hit boost once and jump to get on top of that. Once you're on the bridge, uh, keep on driving down, collect any additional boosts if you need. And on the left hand side you should see an opening and the points are just a jump away. Okay, the sixth set of points we're going to get is on Terminal Sprint. Uh, they are about a quarter away through the map, so if you just drive around here a little bit, you will eventually get to a sharp right turn just about here. Make sure you drift so you can catch the turning and jump up onto this uh, ledge. The points are just inside. The runway tour is a pretty easy level to get some points on. What you want to do is get to the runway. Uh, from there you want to go straight to the end of the runway like I am on this clip here. These stairs right here, you're going to want to boost up onto them and get onto the roof. Once you're on the roof they are just ahead of you onto the right. Okay, on to London Arena. For this one it's really easy. All you need is some rockets or a machine gun. Find this statue and simply blow it up and the point should be just underneath it. Mountain runs next. What you're going to do is get through the majority of the map. Once you go through this tunnel you want to start to slow down as the first set of rocks you'll be going past is the home for the spy points. So what you want to do is just slow down and jump between the rocks and there you have it, your next set of spy points. Casino Tour is the next stop we're going to. 
Uh, this one's pretty simple and you can get the island hopper achievement as well with this. What you're going to do is find this little island here and hop to it. If you slow down right at the end you should see the spy points just above you. Hop back over onto the road collecting the spy points so you should get the achievement and the spy points. Okay now we're in my hometown. So on the hide tour you're going to want to make your way through the park. Uh, you should eventually get to a broken bridge. Uh, you can either go around this bridge or go on top of it. Uh, the points are just at the end to the right. You will need to jump over a little gap but it's nothing too difficult and you shouldn't need any boost. Uh, just a single jump and you should get it fine. Buckingham Sprint is our next map. Uh, this one's pretty easy to get. All you need is one or two boosts. Uh, when you get to this tunnel part of the map, it's just on the other side of it. So once you get through the tunnel, you should see a little ramp down the road to the left. Uh, what you want to do is line yourself up correctly and boost onto it. Jump halfway on the ramp and you should be able to collect it easily. Radiator Sprint is definitely the easiest map to get the spy points on. What you want to do when you start the race is look directly behind you and they are, should just be to the left of you. Simply reverse and get them. Okay, number 14, Canyon Run. For this, you want to start the race up, and as soon as you drop down this little ledge here, you want to stay to the right. You will see the little mine shaft just there. What you want to do is either reverse like me, or if you're good, go straight into it. And the points are just directly inside here, just to your left. What you want to do is jump through these rocks, it's very similar to the mountain run where it's stuck between two rocks. The Timberline Sprint is one of the easier ones as it's quite close to the starting line. Uh, what you want to do is stay to the left hand side of the map. Uh, as the road splits you want to stay to the left. Uh, keep driving down there a little bit and you should start seeing them in the horizon. Simply jump the hole and jump up to get them and they're all yours. Okay back to the arenas. This time we're on Oil Rig Arena. Uh, for this one, you're going to want to start up in two player uh, and drop down onto the map. Uh, make sure you get a full boost for this because you're going to need it. Uh, once you have the full boost, simply drive off of the map and you'll respawn back where you started. If you simply look to the left and hit your uh, double boost, you should be able to fly directly into the spy points. They're just on top of the freights. Airport Arena is where we're going next and it is one of the more trickier points to get. What you're going to need is come over here and collect as much boost as you can. Uh, you're going to need full boost for this jump. Once you have full boost you're going to want to drive over to the blue side of the map and go into the terminal. Uh, once you go up the ramp you should be faced with a set of windows and a ramp. Line yourself up on the ramp and hit your double boost. You're going to want to land on the first roof and then jump again to land onto the second roof. Uh, this is where you'll find the points. Uh, it might take uh, a couple attempts as this one is a little bit tricky. Number 18 is Italy Arena. Uh, for this what you want to do is start the map up and you're going to want to find this roof here. Get at least uh, one boost and line up your jump quite nicely. Uh, from there all you need to do is hit your turbo and jump and you should get it quite easily. Tokyo Arena is very very easy. All you need to do is load up the map and drive forward. You should see a ramp right ahead of you. Jump up it and the points are directly on the second floor of the building. Last but not least is Harbour Sprint. What you want to do here is get around halfway through the map until you start hitting the dirt track. Uh, the first set of rocks you come across will fall down and form a ramp. This will allow you to jump up and get the points, so make sure you don't miss it. And there we have it, 20 out of 20. We get the 50 game points, master tracker achievement, and we finally get to delete this game off our consoles. And that's the end of the guide. Thank you very much for watching. If this guide helped you out at all, please give me a thumbs up. But I think that's enough from me, so I will catch you next time. Peace!